What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and this is the kind of stuff that I love finding to show off on my channel to you guys. Welcome to a low-poly first-person shooter demo. Now, this is a project that is developed by a developer named David, and if you want to check this out, there's going to be a link down in the description for the compiled demo, where you can play around with all of the features and in the whole sandbox uh, that is available for this project. It's absolutely incredible. It is so much fun. You should definitely give it a try. Let's see. Hold up. Is there a window in here? I can't really tell. Let's see if I can... There we go. <laughs> now, um, this project is actually available on the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. Now, it's a little bit expensive. It's around $150, but our studio actually owns a license uh, to this project. We're planning on using it uh, to help us improve Warfare 1944. There's a lot of things that this does that we think we can incorporate into uh, our games as well, and we have access to the source code for this entire project. So if you're a developer and you don't want to pay $150, but you maybe want to help us out with some of our projects and take a look at the source code of this project, send me a direct message on Discord and we can get you hooked up. But I also just really wanted to show off this build of, of this project that David has created because it's honestly amazing and it has so many cool things. Obviously the weapons are cool, but it also has interactability for all of the different attachments. You've got laser sights, um, you've got iron sights, you've got flashlights, you've got really everything that you would need in order to create a really fantastic first person shooter. And again, this is one of the reasons that I really want to continue pushing with the free community made um, projects in, in Unreal Engine 4 uh, and in the tactical shooting community because there's so many people creating amazing things like this and either releasing their projects uh, and, and releasing the project source code for free or for insanely low prices. Uh, and this is another reason why I really want to make a game like Operation Harsh Doorstop with the community for free. And if you want to help us out with that, please, please contact me. Um, but this is yet another project that I think just kind of continues to show that that's the future we're headed towards. So there's all of these different weapons that all have different scopes and attachments. Um, and they look fantastic, and the animations are just are just absolutely great. Um, honestly, I think this is, could be one of the games. Like you, you could really fix this game up, and and possibly even release something for free. Now, there's no networking, as far as I know, uh, that's native with this game. But very possibly, I think you could take the networking solution that we've developed with Operation Harsh Doorstop, and probably uh, get something like this running in multiplayer and release it for free on Steam pretty quickly. Uh, if anybody is interested in giving that a shot. Obviously, I don't have time to do it, um, but if anybody wants to give that a shot, please let me know because this is this is really fantastic. And then uh, here's here's another fun little thing here. Let's go ahead and um, missile strike. <laughs> here's a cool thought. <laughs> so this is really cool. Um, I really I really think this is awesome. Now there's these uh, third person modes which I'm not as big of a fan of. They actually feels kind of weird. Um, but I guess if you wanted to, you could create a third person game. Although I would want to change the. Oh, man, I hate I hate third person games where when you move the mouse, the character's gun moves before the cursor. I don't know what th that really messes with my head. Ugh, oof, I don't like that at all. Um, but let's also go take a look at. Let's see, we've got all these different assault rifles. All these different attachments. Oh, I love the sounds. They sound so good. Got the shotgun. And then I think this has a laser sight, doesn't it? Uh, J, no, H, oh, just a flashlight, got it. And then uh, here's the different sniper rifles. Super cool, super slick. Great animations for everything. This is a really solid project and I mean you can check out the source code to all of this like it's available in the marketplace how amazing is that that's I, I don't know it's it's mind-blowing we're, we're headed towards a whole new era let's see let's take a look at some of the different uh, handguns there's got to be like a desert eagle oh there's a grenade launcher actually let's see here Ooh. <laughs> this is so cool oh that's so fantastic Oof. so um definitely go check this out this is really fun and it is really fun to kind of do like the time trials and stuff like that. Uh, and there's a bunch of different maps 
but I haven't been able to figure out how to access them through the demo that he's made available. So I've already downloaded it and I'm going through it all in Unreal Engine 4 to kind of like check out all of the different things uh, that are kind of like in the back end that aren't visible in the demo. Look at this. Look, this is so cool. You've even got these little destructible houses and everything. Hmm. Super awesome. <laughs> and look at this, these little things, and they kind of fly off. And then let's take a look at, let's see, anything that's remaining. We've got this one. This has a laser sight on it. It's got a laser sight and it's got a flashlight. Let's see here. Let's try to do... I don't know how long it takes for those things to, to respawn. Cool. I want to just do a, like a full speed run for this whole section. Oh, everything's despawned. Lame! <laughs> it's so much fun. Hold up, please. Is there any any barrels left? Oh yeah, here we go. So that's basically it for this project. I think this is really cool. Uh, again, if you want to maybe help with something with this or help the community put together something, I think that would be really cool. Um, just let me know. Oh, here we get the rocket launcher, of course. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this. There's a bunch of things, like for instance, the optics. Uh, let's see, where's the... Uh, we're, we're, we're looking at currently getting, you know, like um, optics into our own games, and there's a bunch of different ways that we know that it's possible to do. So this is definitely going to be a project that's going to be really helpful to see kind of how he pulled it off um, so we can kind of get an idea of how we're going to want to do it uh, for our own games as well. And again, you can download this and play around with it the description down below. Uh, and if you want to get access to the source code, but you don't want to shell out the $150, yeah, just let me know, and I think we can totally set something up. Oh. But this is the future of game development. Like, there's so many projects like this that are coming out. Um, and again, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people that probably take this and try to asset flip it and um, put it on the, you know, the st on Steam for like five bucks and whatever. And honestly, I think those people are kind of, um, they're kind of exploitive and I don't really support that. But I mean, there's another side to all of this because I think that assets on the marketplace have gotten a bad rap because everybody's like, oh man, you know, everybody just abuses these in order to make money. And that's true. That does happen. But I think a lot of people kind of miss out on the potential of, of, of good that these assets can kind of do. Like, you think about it, you look at this, like, stuff like this is coming out every single day. It is coming out every single day. And yeah, you're going to have people that exploit the situation and try to profiteer off of it, but I think that if the community rallies together, like, we have the resources to take stuff like this that is incredibly cheap and use it to benefit the community. We can make cheap games. We can make free games, completely free games, um, that use these systems that people have been so kind to make available for either free or incredibly cheap. Um, and I think that if we can continue rallying the community together and 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 kind of like doing cool things, like I think stuff like this is going to continue coming out. So if you want to support this guy, definitely go buy his asset on the marketplace. It's $150, but for him making stuff like this completely available, I don't know, man. That's, that's a small price. I definitely think he deserves that. Um, and of course, if you want to support our projects as well, we would be incredibly appreciative. We're working on games like Operation Harsh Doorstop, and Warfare 1944, um, which are both made in Unreal Engine 4. And if you want to support us on Patreon, that makes a big difference. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down to this for this demo. You can download this for free um, through our Patreon. Um, you don't even have to be a backer or anything like that. Again, because stuff like this, it's, it's available. Um, and it's easy to make free. So if you want to support us, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you want to support our games, please do. If you also want to support David on the UE4 Marketplace, do that as well because I think he absolutely deserves it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is really cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any more like hidden Easter eggs that I haven't found yet that I think is would be cool. Let's see here. Uh, I want to see if there's like a gun that has like a red dot or something. There's this. Oh, yes! Yes! Let's see, can I... This has got a flashlight. All right, here we go. Time to do the cave. Cave! 
Here we go. Time trial. Is there another one? Can't remember. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, how do I get out? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> well, this is really cool. If you think this is cool too, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you drop a subscribe. And if you also want to help out this video, make sure you press that thumbs up. And if you see another video of mine uh, pop up and you're recommended, make sure you click it. That really does make a big difference. Unfortunately, the way YouTube works is they kind of make it so um, if they show you a video and you don't click at it, they get mad at me. And they don't show my videos to anybody. Um, so if you do see my video, click it. Um, oh. No, no. All right, guys, that's it. Um, again, if you want to help out with our projects, send me a DM. If you want to see the source code to this project, send me a DM, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, cheers.